You're listening to BVZ Radio, the voice of Barron, and I'm praying for a swift death. But my name's Ryan Maloney, and we're here with my very good friends, Abel, Alex, and Marcel, yet again. This is the Retro Rush Hour. How are you guys doing today? Good, good. It's a good. best Fantastic. drive time. Fantastic. I made my first Vine video. At a boy, Marcel. It was bad. I didn't see it. Can I see it? Is I it? Think I made it. Is it about hashtag <sighs> selfies? No, it wasn't. No. Let me take a selfie. Oh, no. Ben, Not again. That's a callback to last More week's to come. show. <laughs> as soon as I find out how to work Vine. Wait a minute. Something's wrong here because we have 242 connected listeners. That's Holy very good. crap. There's Unless. <laughs> That's well, clearly some something's sort of wrong. Someone turned value. on 200 computers and just. <laughs> we, 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 are, we are finally living large with the amount of people that we have drug into this show. I see now I'm kind of nervous. Drugged. I feel like I'm going to say something stupid. Guys, gotta oh, we always say something stupid. Yeah. It's true, we do. All right, so as long as as long as it wasn't like the week when we did that '80s bit or whatever. Ah, oh, yes, the, that and, that I completely butchered. Exactly. Uh, More yeah. callbacks to shows. You should be long. All the long time <laughs> viewers are gonna really love this episode. Yes. Well, they're supposed to go up on the BVZ site, so I mean, let's put them up there for for 242 people who may or may not be listening. Um, I don't know if you're there. Hey, thanks for tuning in. What's on the sh- what's on the agenda for today? So we got a fantastic show for you today. There's an actual theme this week. Surprise! It's movie soundtracks, ah. movie soundtrack songs to be more specific. So it's all Disney. It's a slam- all Disney. Yes. All Disney. It's like Radio <laughs> Disney, but better. And Kenny Loggins. And Kenny Loggins. I'm <laughs> all right. That's on there. Don't spoil it. Someone <laughs> call Kenny Loggins because you're approaching the danger zone. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that one. Oh, no. I think we played that before. that one? Well, I'm we sure played Mighty, it before. I'm oh. sure Mighty Wings isn't on there. There's a lot of ones. That's the thing because we played a lot of the really popular ones. Like, I think we had Footloose. We had uh, Highway to the Danger Zone. We had all the really good ones. Aerosmith, I think you mentioned. I don't want to miss a thing. I was like, oh, let's put that on there. Oh, wait. We played it already. So these are going to be the kind of slightly less cliched ones to like, pick. Like Maniac. Like Maniac. Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh. Why didn't I ask you guys? Oh. Oh. Anyway. Let's hop right into the first song so I can chide myself for missing so much. Um, this one is one you might remember by Cool and the Gang from the 1994. Um, it's not really well known. It's a very obscure movie, a Pulp Fiction. I don't I know if any of you have heard, never of heard of it. Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty it. obscure. Is that yeah. about Isn't George Judy in that movie? J- yeah, Judge <laughs> Judy. Yeah, yeah. Judge- <laughs> You're an idiot! Sir, I'm speaking! That's my Judge Judy impression. Please hire me. Whoever's out there and is an employer. All 200 of you. Yes. So, we're going to hop right in. Cool in the gang. Jungle buddy, Boogie on BBC Radio. The Voice of Baron. You're listening to BVZ Radio, the voice of Baron. That's Mrs. Robinson by Simon and Garfunkel. Great song. Um, definitely one of my favorites from The Graduate, I think. The, 19, the seminal 1967? That wasn't 67? from The Graduates. Yeah, The Graduate. No, that's from Forrest Gump. Right, of course, of course, Forrest Gump. Uh, yeah, we were just actually talking about all the songs that I missed on this on this playlist, and we and went through them. And Maniac is one of them. You said the Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters theme, Ghostbusters theme, Mighty oh, Wings from Mighty Top Wings. Gun. Oh, yeah. It's just it, we're, it's he missed so many. I I, oh, I you know I I missed the boat. What can I say? You done I messed up, Ryan Maloney. I done goofed. Yep. So. Uh, I believe you had our next topic ready for us, Mr. Marcel. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, let's let's talk about the new Godzilla movie coming out. I believe it's May fourteenth. I want to say uh, somewhere I, in I early thought it was May ninth, but you may be right. Okay, well, so, I could be wrong. Sometime in May. So far, from what I've seen so far, 
Horrible remake, all right? Really? They, I mean, sure, they got Brian Cranston. Yes, that's his name. name. The guy from Breaking Bad, yes. Malcolm in the Mill, all that stuff. But Jerry Seinfeld's think dentist. Think of all the potential they're missing, all right? If they're trying to remake Godzilla, they're doing a horrible job. Where is, uh, what's his face? Matthew Broderick? Yeah. Ooh, that, that is, that's a lot of all fish. Right? That's a lot of fish. <laughs> I, I'm Matthew Broderick. That's a lot of fish. I'm acting. <laughs> what is he doing? Aren't I what was charming? the last movie he was in? Uh, Tower last, Heist? The last time yeah, I probably. saw him, he was in an episode of Louie, and oh. he was trying to recreate all the Godfather movies with an all-Jewish cast. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because Matthew Broderick. Because I, Matthew Broderick uh, can do stuff like that, apparently. I, I've never been a fan of him. I can tolerate... There's two movies that I can point to that I can tolerate Matthew Broderick in. Ooh, be careful. Tread lightly. I will. <laughs> um... The Godzilla remake, no. <laughs> um, well, okay, okay. Ferris Bueller. Okay, I like Ferris Bueller because there's really nobody else who could have played that role. Be- All right. that role besides you know, hi, I'm Ferris Bueller. I'm looking at the camera. Get it? And um, Bueller. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> and um, what was the other one? He was in. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever saw that the Civil War movie, Glory. Yes. With Morgan Freeman yes. and Denzel we, Washington. He's actually really good in that. He actually is pretty good in Glory. Yes. Where he walks into the party and just goes into shell shock and he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. yes. <laughs> and everyone's like, the Civil War show is great. And he's like, I saw 500 men die yesterday. <laughs> hmm. uh, you didn't like I'm, that one, that one movie where it's his family versus Danny DeVito's family. In that oh one dear God! What? Deck the halls. Wow! Oh, oh, I'm having no. flashbacks. Yeah. Oh. No. Danny DeVito. <laughs> I think. Get it? The <laughs> families are at war, but it's Christmas, so it's lighthearted. Uh, <laughs> people died. <laughs> it, it was. Uh, he he almost ruined Jim Carrey's career with uh, the, cable the Cable Guy. guy yeah. Oh Let's not forget God. about who that. Was it, who was it that I was talking to who liked them? Oh, Miss Lady. Oh. Miss Lady likes that movie. She was on the show before the to our listeners. Guy. Or, the cable guy. The yeah. cable guy. He, here's the thing. There are parts of that movie where I can be like, oh, that was kind of funny. funny. And, then, and then the rest of it is just like, wow, that was aren't I exceptionally better? dark. It's like, <laughs> yeah, right? And it's like, hey, aren't I better than Jim Carrey at acting? Yeah. It's like, no, <laughs> no, you're not. You're not. You're just kind of there. You just... You Get it? I t- need my cable fixed. I'm Matthew Broderick. I want to watch movies of myself. <laughs> I'm Matthew Broderick. <laughs> So, all, all in the end, I'm going to rate this movie, the new Godzilla movie that still has not come out yet. Is this I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5, would watch again. Is, <laughs> is this your lowest rating I already yet? saw the yeah. Godzilla remake last up. year, and it was called Pacific Rim. Ooh. Ha. Ah. Yes. Ah. Slam dunk. Pacific Zing. Rim. Uh. Pacifica Ocean. <laughs> it, it, I, I don't know. It's... If they, mm, they mm. could let's put it like this: the new Godzilla could be fine, as long as it's not the old Godzillas. Yes. Well, and I'm not. I've never been too big into Godzilla. Like, I just think like the the concept of a giant dinosaur walking around the city and people run away is old exceptionally Godzilla silly. Around but but that's Tokyo the thing. Like it's, and, and it's like literally it. just me. I don't mean to offend Godzilla fans who may or may not be listening of the 242 potential people out there. Jeez. <laughs> I still think that's but, wrong. But see now now we have to be more politically correct because there's oh, people false. listening. <laughs> um, it's like, false. Damn. No, we don't. <laughs> but I mean. Well, because I, th- I can buy King Kong. That's th- the weirdest thing. I can buy King Kong because I like the story and I like the the characters. And it everything. does have I a can't little buy more. Godzilla. See, King Kong does have a little more going in it too. Yeah. But yeah. here's the thing, though. I think Godzilla works fine as a good summer blockbuster movie. Okay. Fair enough. Because it it leads itself to have all the things you want in a good summer blockbuster movie. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, Captain no America story. two. <laughs> didn't have all the good qualities of a good summer blockbuster. That's why it came it out shaky. in April. Exactly. Because <laughs> it's not summer yet. And it's not summer. It, it, and it was good, though. I thought it was good. It was fine. I think the camera work was just oh, atrocious, God, though. It was. Yeah. It was really and that, I mean, that's... I mean, yeah. That ruins a lot of it. True. Because I could be like, hey, remember that scene where it was all zoomed in and shaking and I couldn't tell you what happened? Uh, yeah. And I will still take it you know, over the first movie because the first movie was just so bland. It. And so, it, d- yeah, don't bother. It's so bland. It's and, so bland. And I did read something that according to whoever, wherever this article was, I don't remember, it said it was, out of all of them, Fox the... Fox News. <laughs> Fox News. <laughs> it yeah. was the best... It was the best Marvel movie yeah. in, to come out yet in the regards of it being the most self-contained. 
Uh, where it doesn't. I mean, I guess it doesn't require any of the other movies, any of the other characters, Isn't Scarlett or Johansson even in the there? first. Yeah. Black I mean, I guess, but like, there's still a lot of backstory. Black I mean, yeah, yeah, it did a really good job enough. at being self-contained, but I think there's a lot of stuff like back with the Avengers, and they referenced the first movie like how many times? True. You know, with, the, with the dude in the TV and the, he was he was a thing in the from the first movie. one, yeah. And then Red Skull and did they mention Red Skull? They did. Ooh. Okay, yeah. They did Red it. Skull. They did when they got to that part. Yeah, yeah. So that's. I mean, it's. Spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler alert. Red Skull. I can't remember my third. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> um, anyhow. <laughs> I, I, yeah, you can borrow it. Borrow what? I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> I mean, it, it could work. Godzilla could work, but time will tell. I'll tell you, well, uh, did you have anything else to add on Godzilla? Because I was about out of Matthew Broderick Godzilla jokes. <laughs> Tell us how much you like Matthew Broderick and Godzilla at uh, <laughs> love Retro em. Rush Hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on Twitter. Yeah. Down to the Retro Rush Hour on Twitter. It's Somebody like, actually t actually tweeted me. I don't know if it was a real person or not, but like when we were doing 20 questions. No, it was a computer. <laughs> was it? No, I'm know kidding. About this? No, I didn't. Oh, I okay. Well, I just checked my Twitter because I haven't checked it in like two weeks. Okay. You should actually pull it up. We should do a live tweet during the show. We, we should. should do a live yeah. chat during the show. And <laughs> it was, but I pulled it up and like it was when I think me and uh, Mr. Harper were playing 20 questions on here. And somebody actually tweeted back. They, cause the, the object was a wallet. Like I was <laughs> guessing a wallet and I couldn't get a wallet. But it turns out like somebody actually like registered on the thing and, and registered as like penis foot or something. And it was oh like they tweeted me, boy. it's a penis. <laughs> I didn't even see it. And are, I was like, I just tweeted you, him back they, today like good. Are you well done. To, according <laughs> to FCC regulations, are you allowed to say that on the Oh, air? we can say penis. Can you? That's an object. That's a male. I, I wouldn't say it too much. I thought there was a well, limit. Well, yeah, I wouldn't say it like. I mean, I could. I thought I'm you doctor, already hit but. your <laughs> limit. I thought I'm pretty sure you already hit the limit on there. For uh, FCC for regulations. Peanut, well, yes. yeah, I know. Well, we, we we let so much slip on this show as it oh is. Oh my we've god! Especially the last time. We've talked about roofies. We've talked about <laughs> masturbation. We've talked about <laughs> God knows what else. What else? Volcanoes. We things we probably Volcanoes. shouldn't bring back. Yeah, Volcanoes. Things we shouldn't bring back. Exactly. Yeah. Helicopter rides. So, <laughs> uh, uh, movies. Yeah. So on on similar lines to that, I saw. I don't know if you guys have seen the trailers for that Transcendence with Johnny Depp. Wait, Wait, it's the one where he gets uploaded into a computer. Wait, he's, he's computer. not in like a weird, like weird uh, Tim Burton movie. Yes, yeah, he's, no, he's it's not weird, right? He's uh, not. not. Yeah, is this <laughs> Pirates Five? <Whoa. laughs> it should be. I went to see it um, with a couple friends of mine, and it's like th there's a lot of people who are trashing it right now, and I'm just kind of like, I mean, it was okay, it wasn't great, because it's all about like the whole th After basically. Earth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I will defend that movie till the end of time, sir. But no, Transcendence was the whole thing is it's interesting because it's a metaphor for like organized religion. Like you go in there and it's like it's because he talks about like being a god, like when you are uploaded into a computer and you go online and everything. So his consciousness is in this computer and he basically like, you know, builds like this whole like high tech society and everything. And then he. He, he's able to, like, heal the sick and stuff like that, so it's, like, you know, obviously a lot of religious parallels there. And then, so, but he heals them with, like, you know, robot, like, pieces in their head or, like, in their, you know, something. So they're connected to him, so he can, like, control them. So and, like, his voice comes out through them. Nanites? Basically, yeah. Okay. Such nanites. And, like, he, so, like, wow, you know, when the, when the cops go to, like, shoot these guys, they can't die because they just, like, heal up really quickly because that's how... Like it's it's so it's That's it's really like works. it's it's like you know you no, won't die when you're with me like it's all religion, so, so it's like uh, when Bender becomes the supercomputer and then God kind of yep. kind of in Futurama yeah I never thought of it that way <laughs> wow does, does but yeah it's I mean it's interesting for that but like it's it's not entirely well done what are, what are people saying though you said people are bad mouthing it I didn't regard. really read any of the comments I just heard that like Johnny Depp's in another flop and I'm like okay you know that's I mean it's it's different because uh, don't get me wrong I think I will defend Johnny Depp till the end of time I think he's infinitely talented but recent years have seen him go to like those really commercial movies where it's like oh I'm Jack Sparrow again get it I'm quirky like and Tim Burton and and you know hey, all uh, that stuff question. hey I'm Tim Burton I'm gonna have <laughs> I'm Johnny I'm artsy fartsy I'm, I'm gonna, gonna uh, have Johnny Depp play another does, character does Johnny <laughs> Depp ever enunciate a word incorrectly 
No, you, talk trick question. Question. Does he, you mean, does he ever does pronounce he? a word correctly? No, no, no. In the movie <laughs> Transcendence. I don't know. Um, does he actually talk normally? He like actually this? talks normally, yeah. Oh, like, so if you see like, him, like, in his <laughs> old, like, <laughs> stuff, computer. before he got, you know, all Tim burton and all. Oh, I'm going to be uploaded into a computer. It's yeah. going to be real good. Well, he wears the big glasses and everything, so it's like, oh, it's, it's Johnny. Oh, I'm going to be uploaded. Secret <laughs> window, Johnny. Oh, no. I like that movie. The, uh, um, uh, the mailbox. <laughs> what? Okay, Keanu Reeves. Oh, Keanu Reeves. oh that yeah, Keanu? oh that one, yeah. The <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna put this letter in this mailbox and it's gonna go in the future. Oh my Hickory Farms package. Oh, came God. In. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's not explain that one anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Family guy jokes. Alright, well let's hop right into our next song before this segment runs too long and I get all self-important with it. So along the same lines as movies, you might recognize uh, Will Smith. Oh, this no. one's from Men in Black 2. Disappointing movie, good song. It's Black Suits Coming on BBC Radio, the voice of Baron. You're listening to BBZ Radio, the voice of Baron. That's Hearts on Fire yeah. by um, oh, well, somebody anyway. I forget. It doesn't say on here. It's from the Rocky Four soundtrack. By Look Al it up. Great song. It's by no, you don't. Sorry. Uh, now you do. Cool. Cool. Hey, Alex. Good I'm to back. have you back. I'm back. Hey, so we're going to be starting. Ah, good. I just saw your tweet. My so, twat. yes, we're all uh, twatting away here. So we decided that we, since we have a good solid 300 listeners right now, we're going to do a live tweet session. Just to verify that yeah. you're all actually we're, out there. Because we don't believe it. We're we going ahead and assuming that this is some sort of error. <laughs> or April <laughs> Fool's joke on us. But if there actually are 300, since you're listening to this on the radio... Go, go to the go use the uh, go to the go internet. to my go to my Twitter at Retro Rush Hour and tweet me. We are doing a live tweet session, so we, tweet us because we're going to be jumping right into our top three here. So jump in with your top three or tweet us whatever, just to just to verify that you're here and, who, and that we and who knows maybe you'll make a powerful friend today. Yes, I am powerful. That's true, aren't we all? I mean, I feel powerful after Hearts on Fire. Anyway. Exactly, yeah. I feel like I could run up a mountain, beat Drago. It, yeah. <laughs> His name was Dragon without the end, and he was on steroids. That's true. Steroids ah. are bad. So is Russia. <laughs> it's true. Oh, it's true. Oh. But if we can, if I can change and you, you can, can change, change, then we maybe can we change. can all change. True words never been spoken. He and then in Rocky change. Five, he lost it all. That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's the message, kids. Mm -hmm. Hearts on I'm fire. fire. Anyway, boop, boop, boop. this show still <laughs> has no theme. <laughs> yes. With that theme, that theme music, top three. So uh, our top three, I, I didn't write it down. I forget what it was. Top three songs that you are going to hear. That you are going to hear during the apocalypse. Whilst the world is ending. Whilst the mid world is ending. Mid-apocalypse. Yes, so mid-apocalypse, not like Mad Max, like, you know, everyone dust in the dying, wind, everyone's dead. This is everyone's dying, the horsemen are coming, people are on fire running through the streets, as fire an, and brimstone. As an honorable mention, and oh, to God. explain the topic, yes. <laughs> in essence, if you saw the remake of War of the Worlds, where they're all standing on the dock waiting for the ferry, yes. and they're playing I Want to Set the World on fire <laughs> it's like that yes it's like we're all dying but we're gonna choose the appropriate song the appropriate, for the situation yes the appropriate theme music for the mass death <laughs> of humanity so such a happy topic i think so um so, does anyone have any honorable mentions now or i have uh, a couple here. okay i have a couple well to, let's put it on the table can we all agree armageddon yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just want to get that out of the way now. The, you mean Hopefully, uh, the Aerosmith? Aerosmith. Yeah. I don't want to close my ears. 
Doing a fair and asleep, cause I miss you, baby. And I don't want to miss a thing. That yeah. was awful. It was more like Trey Parker and Matt Stone's variant on that song. I would <laughs> yeah. Say. Uh, Just because I'm again by Def Leppard. <laughs> oh, Armageddon yeah, that's it. a good song. Hmm. Yep. I dig it. Yeah. But Go are on. you getting it? I, I Armageddon it. it. And my really get Armageddon it. out of here. Uh, Armageddon. Armageddon out of here. <laughs> my my honorable mention is raindrops keep falling, falling on my head. There you go. All right. <laughs> but that doesn't, doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning, turning red. red. Crying mm-hmm. stuff. I get it because me. the rain is going to be lava. Yeah. <laughs> Acid rain. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm singing in the rain. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're Sing. good too. Uh, a Clockwork Orange. That was a good scene. Right? Yes, yeah. great scene. If great. you haven't totally seen it, kids. Appropriate scene. Kids, kids if you played. haven't seen Clockwork Orange, <laughs> go watch. Ask Clockwork your parents. Orange. Actually, don't. Just watch it. Watch it with them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dangerous messages. To List children. of movies that you don't want to watch with your mother. A Clockwork Orange. <laughs> Caligula. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anything with Malcolm McDowell in it. Yeah, pretty Young much. Young Malcolm McDowell. Uh, what was it? Island of Death, the movie where the uh, supernatural flies were killing people. So Malcolm McDowell opened oh, fire man. against the flies. Yeah. He pulled out a pistol and started shooting at the flies. He's like, why won't you die? And then he got killed. <laughs> yes. That, that one. That. <laughs> so all Malcolm McDowell movies. <laughs> okay. Now that yeah. we have. <laughs> all right. So anybody else have any honorable mentions? No, Negative. I'm ready to get right into it. Okay. Well, my, cu- my couple of honorable mentions are... Macklemore's Thrift Shop. <laughs> because I just, I feel like that song is going to make, you know, because I feel like it's dead now. Like, I don't want to listen. I don't, I, I would be totally content to never hear that song again. Like, it's, it was good it's, while it lasted. It was good while it lasted, and now it's dead. Like everything else in pop culture. Yes. Oh, it's, pop music. And, yeah. like, it's just going to, like, it's going to come Not back. And it's just, we're just going to hear, we're going to be on fire, and we're going to hear, I'm on a pop someday. <laughs> oh, my God. $20 in my <laughs> pocket. <laughs> so. Yeah, that that's that's my one honorable mention, and then my other one is I can envision that now. Uh, yeah. We're on fire, and it's like, <laughs> oh, the irony. It's just <laughs> okay. My other one is um, Patty Smith, the Warrior, <laughs> shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang bang! I am the Warrior. That one. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, I got an honorable mention. Okay. Any of the songs on William Shatner's Spoken Word album. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and I think it's going to be Man. a long, long <laughs> and time. And I think it's going to be a long, long time. <laughs> that was the yeah. thing. The, Space um, Odyssey, was that the one with Major Tom? Ground control yeah. to Major. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did, did he do it? that one too? I don't know. Did he? I think he did like the sequel or whatever. Like the <laughs> Yeah, he made someone well, that like is a hilarious. response to that song. I think this maybe is Major Tom. I can't to think of uh, control. I can't think of who it I'm is. I'm stepping through the door. Speaking of William Shatner, there was someone else that had a really bad, sang one really bad song, and I can't think of his name. <laughs> oh, well, that narrows it down. Uh, <laughs> let me help you out there. He, <laughs> hmm. yeah, I can't think of the guy's name. The All actor right. he, eating the sandwich, drunk. Oh, David Hasselhoff. David Hasselhoff. Hasselhoff. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Hasselhoff's music As he video. Was flying through the. Yes. Was, yeah. Was that yes. in the movie? Um, More than Road a trip? feeling. More than. <laughs> oh. The, oh. That. Yeah, okay. That. Yeah. Now. Now I know what you're talking about. Okay. Yes. Yes. That was the. I do. We have a new tweet. Do we? Oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Should we play this vine? Oh, if you want. Good work. No, no, no. no I don't think it'll work. play. We'll let the listeners watch. It won't play on here anyway. Probably shouldn't. Uh, yeah, that's right. Probably shouldn't because I think it has... There's a phallic reference in there. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. Inappropriate <laughs> yeah. things. Well, anyway. Well, we check it out on the website. Cause go, to, go to the Twitter live feed now. <laughs> Come <laughs> chat with us. Come chat with All us. apparently 250 of you. Yes. We're excited. We're ready to I talk. Don't th- I, I, don't, I nope, still don't, don't buy exist. it. I still they don't, don't buy it. But we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. There Who is knows? a delay, so we'll wait. We'll wait for, we'll there is like a 10 minute delay. We are right. going to get to three. Let's do three, and then we'll go to our next music break, and then we'll see if the tweets aren't flooding in. Yes, yes. And then we'll do our two and one. Okay, so Alex, three. Go. All right, my third would have to be Linkin Park with you, specifically from the reanimation album. Uh, okay. All oh, right. Don't because like the I don't remix? know why. It's just. Huh? The remix one? Yeah. Is that is that the one? Yeah, the one on reanimation. Okay, do you want to do you want to see yes, if I can't play it on here? You can give it a do shot. It. Why not? I really I'm like curious. One. I, I don't really like the reanimation album. If you like Linkin Park, it was a pretty good album. I'm trying to remember what it was. Yo, there ain't no Jay Z. Say on it again, Linkin Park. Oh man, there is no Jay Z uh, on it. You. You're right. But it's like W T H. 
You know, you, you know, Marcel, you say that, but uh, it's not as good as uh, some Pompeii. You don't like that song? Don't tell me you don't like that song. I I love that song. He he. Then me and you are gonna duke it out later. Oh, he was, good, good. He was talking about how much okay, he I'm gonna play this. This is this is Alex's number three right here. <laughs> you might want to turn that down a bit. Do that. And the feedback at least. Wow. Picture being played during the apocalypse. I, knew, I, knew there was, they had the I like being it. Being from the nineties, hmm. after all. Well done. Well done. Okay, Abel, number three. Well, in the in the spirit of what just happened uh, <laughs> here, I'm going to replace my number three with Pompeii, <laughs> Good. Uh, because that was the runner up for three. But uh, it's a lot better than uh, my <laughs> previous three. So we're going to stick with Pompeii. I really dig that song. Oh, I, like, and it's about a city and everyone dying in it. It so. is. Well, it's it's good. Like, what's... what? Why do you dislike it so, Marcel? Yeah, let's, well, let's talk about this now. Because now, <laughs> now that we've opened this can of worms. Uh, in uh, case you were curious, in case you were curious, because I have to have them on every list, I was going to have uh, my original number, number three was any song in the musical Avenue Q that Gary Coleman sang in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because he was in a musical and he sang. Really? Gary Coleman. Can I look this up? Gary Coleman. Because oh now I'm God. curious. <laughs> I don't know if... I, Avenue Q, you said? Avenue Q. I, th I want to say it was in the original cast. Uh, just go to the Wikipedia article for it. It'll be easier because I don't remember what songs. That's too late. Too late. I'd probably say don't play it though. Really? Yes. Is it like... Uh, 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 Gary Coleman drops a lot of F-bombs. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> All right, well, we can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could. Well, He was uh, later replaced because uh, since he his unfortunate passing away, I know yeah. in later renditions, he, I don't know if he was originally or who played him, but um, uh, I know later on, or at least currently, it's uh, Gary Coleman's now played by a woman. Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> good. The, the natural substitution. The natural substitution. <laughs> Either way, Gary Coleman. But I'm going to replace that with Pompeii. Yeah, Let's get back why to do you Pompeii. Hate this song? I hate everything about. How? Bastille. It's so good. It's so catchy. And it's like, so the beat is so like, Marcel, is like, Marcel. Well, and I don't even like a lot of pop music. Like, 90% of the stuff that's out there now, I don't like it. But I heard this song when I was lifting the one time. I was like, this is really good. Is this from like the 80s or something? And I looked and you're it like, up and I was like, no, wow, this, this is, is from new. recent. Do you, like, do you yeah. even lift? Yeah, do you even lift? <laughs> do you even <laughs> lift? Do you so Marcel, even lift? Do you, what's your problem with a British band named after an attack? <laughs> Wait. It's Let, a, let's back up for a all second. Right. All right. It's not British. They are I'm British. Fairly they sure are British. They're British. They're, I'm pretty sure they're British. They're are British they? singing about... They're, they're, sing, yeah. they're British. The song's Italian and it's the place Italian. is in Greece. It's <laughs> French. Bastille is French. It is, yeah, he's right. <laughs> you don't even know if they're British. But I can't trust Br you. I'm almost positive they're British. <laughs> well, you listen to how they sing, too. It's like... Oh, my God. I, I want to shove my something my in his throat. throat. Hey, oh, hey, oh. All right, hey, Marcel. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. It's so hey, good. It's hey, catchy. Oh. We'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. <laughs> Let us get through number threes and the rest. We'll okay, come back right. to this. Yeah. Tweet us at the Retro Rush Hour. <laughs> what your do you think of Bastille? Bastille's um, uh, Pompeii. If you haven't heard Pompeii by I Bastille, go listen to it and then God. come back because you'll recognize it no, in 30 I think you seconds. Meant to say, if you haven't heard Pompeii by Bastille, what have you been doing? You've been under a rock? rock? You're in some kind <laughs> of rock or dungeon? Go listen to it. Tweet us at, at Retro Rush Hour. Yes. Uh, let's hear your number three. Let's hear your number three. I can't, I can't physically take this. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was going to say any song by Nickelback, but... Uh, <laughs> you know, I was thinking about putting that <laughs> too. Naturally. But I'll... I'll put Look at this photograph! <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Um, Couldn't help it. I would, it's a, it's a two-way tie between uh, Black Sabbath's uh, NIB Ooh, and... Uh, Ozzy Osbourne's oh what the heck is it called? Uh, Believer. Ah, good. Good. Yes. I approve. I was thinking about doing some Ozzy Osbourne because I mean, <coughs> he is the Prince of Darkness. I mean, right, well. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was Ryan, what's your third? <laughs> okay, my third. I was gonna go off on a whole. Anyway, my third is uh, Pharrell's Happy. Can't stand that song. Yeah. Cannot stand. And I feel like there's going to be that one person who's like, I listened to this when I was a kid. Come along if you feel like. 
I hate that song. I hate it because it always plays on the radio when I'm in my car, and I'm like, no, no, I'm not happy. No. So, so mad. as you're running around on fire, that's There's going to be, be somebody who's on yeah. And you're going to be like, I hate everything. Yeah, I'm glad I'm dying because <laughs> 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 these people, I have to get... I, I just hate the song. Like, it's awful. It's awful. Yep. It's just everything. Do you, know, you don't like it either, too, right? The one thing I find funny is that nowadays the number one hits, yeah. right, are the worst. Think, think about think about the uh, what they all share. Yeah, Daft, I mean, Daft Punk's uh, "Get Lucky." I like that one. "Happy" by Pharrell. Yeah. Uh, "Treasure" by Bruno Mars. Love it. These are all stuff that comes from the '80s, '70s, True. and stuff True. like that. There's no reinventioning here. Reinventioning, <laughs> like gentlemen. Reinventioning. <laughs> yeah. Future doctor. Future Thank doctor. You. Future doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Emotions are stored in the heart. <laughs> Future doctor. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I I think that's funny. And just now, you you got music like Dark Horse. Yeah, that's, that's a good song. song. I like that song. Okay, now we really need serious. Uh, I don't mind it. I'm, <laughs> oh I'll say, no, I'll say I, 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 it's not that I like. I wouldn't go <laughs> out of my <laughs> way. <to> <laughs> <listen>. <laughs> I like the beat. The <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What is this? An old there's Frankenstein an, movie? There's an appeal there. Yeah, oh it's, it sounds. God. It sounds like a nightclub. Oh. Anyway, I let's think, just play music. So I think we're we gonna talk about so this, but I gotta take a selfie. Obscenity. One yeah. of us is <laughs> gonna <laughs> die before wait, 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 we come agree back on, on that. You didn't take your number three though. I didn't. No. Yeah, no, I, happy. I said Pharrell's happy. happy. Pharrell. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's how let's, this all started. Okay. Because I really want to use some profanity, so we're gonna we're gonna play our next uh, next <laughs> music, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna hash out this argument here. You go ahead and listen to. Oh, you're the best hold around. On. Don't forget to tweet us at the and please Russia. tweet us. Yes, verify that you're all real. We're all we're all pumped up. We're waiting. I mean, we're, we're, when we come back, we'll read the best tweet. I even, yes, I even posted a vine of us, so you can even see our yes. Lovely Faces. Check that out and do it. So we are going to play our next song. It's You're the Best Around from the Karate Kid by Joe Esp es Espinoza. Something. Yeah, that. <laughs> Listen to it anyway. BBC Radio, the voice of Baron. You're listening to BBZ Radio, the voice of Baron. That's I'm All Right, the theme from Caddyshack by Kenny Loggins. What's that sound? What's that? Alex, have you heard this song before? Pompeii by Bastille? I've just listened to it, and I have heard it before, yes. Okay. Everyone heard it. Don't remember how it goes. But if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like nothing changed at all? And if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like you've been here before? He got crippled. He, uh, he, he got, done goofed. He it done was goofed. really, it was a lot better when we did it <laughs> off air. Over when yeah, we were arguing. Off the air. But we wanted to do it for you, and we, no, I think we semi succeeded. I, I think, think so. so. Yeah, I think uh, you know what I isn't? You know what isn't semi succeeding though? Our live tweet with the no, audience. No, it's not because uh, you're not all out there. You're not all real. We're all That's wait, okay. We're though. all still waiting to hear back from you. I mean, there's still a huge chunk of you. <laughs> yes, all and, um, 240 bots apparently. Yeah, we're, we're we're still waiting. We're still going strong. Uh, and we're, we're, since there's no tweets to read this com uh, this break, uh, if you tweet in, maybe we'll read by the end of this segment. We will, yeah, we by will. the end of the segment, or I think we've got another break in here before. So we have to finish, first things first, we have to finish our top three. We do, have do, these are the do, top do, three. Do. Still no transition theme <laughs> into this segment. The untitled top three segment. 
Uh, we, we have the songs that you want to that that are going to be playing during the apocalypse. So number two, Alex, go. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, I'm gonna have to go with the sound of silence. Oh, oh, Simon oh, oh man, I, I love that song. Uh, we sang that song today on the rock band. We did. Oh, did you? Yeah. It's it was, true. It, was it did happen Good. this morning. Good. It happened. It's it's a good song. It well. it's good. You just picture, you know, uh, Dustin Hoffman in the water. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> taking a bath, maybe. Yeah. I was thinking, <laughs> taking a bath. What? Just now, now. Not, not for the graduate, but now, just taking yeah. a bath to the sounds of stuff. He's like, ah, oh, yes. Just scrubbing his back, like. <laughs> He's like, yeah. The yeah. sound of silence. silence. That's 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 my impression of Dustin Hoffman. Do you like that? <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Fourteen minutes to Wapner. That's a little better. Rain Man. Where's, anyway. Oh, is that where it's from? Yeah, Rain Man. Oh, okay. Where'd you think it was from? I had no idea. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? I just thought it was Alan Thick or something. <laughs> Alan Thick. <laughs> what? Alan Thick. I don't know what his name was. Alan Thick. <laughs> anyway, Abel. Is that the Canadian or is that the. <laughs> no, I'm thinking of the guy who played. Um, is that Robin Thick? Or is it Robin Thick? No, Thicke, not Canadian? Robin Thick. Is it yeah, Julian Robin Hart? Thicke. Was the, the oh, the dude who. Everybody get up. No, the guy who. That's who, another Who song, played Hook. Is that. In, oh, um, yeah, no, that's Dustin Hoffman. Is that Dustin Hoffman? That's Dustin yeah, Hoffman. That's Dustin yeah, Hoffman. Okay, anyway. Isn't that Cynthia Rothrock? <laughs> <laughs> who are you thinking of? Uh, the guy who played Professor Snape. Alan oh, uh, Rickman. Alan Rickman. You mean... My name Hello. is Alan Rickman. It's Alan Rickman. I am the... Chocolate oh, rain. What was <laughs> Some stay dry and <laughs> others feel the faint chocolate rain. Mr. Potter. Chocolate rain. Ha, 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 ha. what what was he in Yippee Dogma? Ki what was he in Dogma? I am the Metatron. Uh, the, yeah, I yeah, am yeah, the yeah. Metatron. <laughs> I am the one true messenger of God. <laughs> that movie. What else that is movie. he in? I don't. I don't know. I was doing Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> I can't finish the quote, but <laughs> you know it's there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he was only in those two movies. That's it. That's yeah, all he ever that's done. It. Harry Potter. <laughs> only one Harry Potter. Dogma. It wasn't in the rest. <laughs> 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 just one. Just Harry Mr. Potter. Mr. Potter. I'm going to disappear for the next 14 <laughs> films. Spoiler: <laughs> uh, oh. He kills Dumbledore. Whoa! <laughs> you just you just spoiled spoiled all kills Dumbledore! No! You, you just yeah. spoiled yeah. everything for all those 240 <laughs> fake people. Yeah. There's somebody out there who's like, No! That's just me internally, because I only watched the first movie. <laughs> I only hey, I get, didn't even get, get through this. it. It's so boring. I watched the first movie and the both parts of the last movie. <laughs> and none of the ones in between. <laughs> Did you read That's them? That's all you though? need, really. No. Oh, okay. I got the thing, and he fights the dude, the dude and the he, guy, he and got the, it. the boy who lived. Blah, blah 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 blah. Boring. Magic. Yeah, he <laughs> had to defeat Magneto. I mean, exactly. Magneto. Yeah. Was Magneto in it? What was Dumbledore Charles. in this film? Abel. Hello, Your Eric. Your number two. Uh, uh, my number two. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> I decided to just stop. <laughs> anyway, right? we're talking about how Magneto went all the way to the mountain to throw the ring into the volcano. You humans and your gods. Why didn't they just fly the eagles into the mountain <laughs> <laughs> and kill all the mutants? <laughs> 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 Oh god. Uh, Abel, do your number two. Do number, two. <laughs> number two. Number two. Number uh, two. I decided to go in a serious route this time when I think end of the world and I think song. Uh, you take those things, put them in a bowl, and you get 99 Luft balloons. What? Luftwaffe? 99 red balloons. Uh, is that a song? You don't know 99 Red Balloons. By? Now I'm going to play it. Well, the the it was, slam dunk song from the 80s? It was by some German can, group, and then. Um, Fish? Goldfinger covered Goldfinger it. Goldfinger covered it. Yep. Uh, I can't remember oh. her name for the life of me. Nina? Nina, thank you. It, you do not remember this. This was a song. This was an... This How was one of the I might know you? it when we play it. Yeah. Oh, that was her name. Yeah, I know this song. That was her uh, name oh. for... The fact that you, you literally know all the lyrics that are coming up on the screen. Alright, I'm gonna stop. 
All right, look at the viewers by the minute. Well, as soon as the viewer count just drops, drops. to zero. <laughs> <laughs> even the bots don't uh, uh, <laughs> even, even the bots leave. You should have played it in German. It would <laughs> that would that would definitely bring in the viewers. Yes. Sorry, yeah, originally a German song. song really? And then brought it stateside, so that was the same act, same woman who s sang, sang it in, in German, German in English. Okay. who was a German citizen. Yeah. So she has a pretty good voice for being a German born person. I should say so. Yeah. And uh, then What's, you said wait, Goldfinger. Why wouldn't she have a good voice if she was German? Yeah. You mean English? English? You mean English? Yeah. 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 That just leaves and then Goldfinger covered it? Yeah. Yeah. Ja. Yeah. 99 yeah. red balloons, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> long <laughs> long story stereotype. Long story Yay. short, everyone dies in the end of the song <laughs> because they think the balloons they take a are pill missiles. In a, in, a, in a bunker somewhere. Probably. <laughs> you, <laughs> they take the missiles. You got balloons. me. You got me. <laughs> anyway, Marcel, you're number, number two. two. Number two. Is, does it involve two. Magneto? Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, this actually involves a serious one. And it's Raining Blood by Slayer. Oh, oh God. Gotta have that one. that song was awful on Guitar Hero. Oh, God. I, I, I'm familiar with it. Yes. Okay. There's something, there's something I don't like about Slayer, but there's something I do like about Slayer. I, li I like to come to things Slayer is play really fast and yell, like, all these religious obscenities to get people mad. <laughs> but, God, it's I, like, um, there's some music I love about them. <laughs> it's like Du Hast by... Um, Rammstein. Rammstein. Yeah. Rumble Stelskin? Yeah, I showed you do. Yeah, you did. Yep. You did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's another German people. You number two before that. My number two. Aids. Okay. Well, in in contrast to its raining blood, I have its raining men. Ah, <laughs> should raining we be so men. lucky? <laughs> raining <laughs> men. Because I just feel Dead like there's gonna be like of men. I, yeah, <laughs> literally. Yeah. Can't we just replace and men then with goats? And there's gonna be some dude fabulous. <laughs> Can't we just replace uh, the word men with goats? Such, yeah. it's such raining goats. stereotypes. <laughs> Many yeah. ignorance wow. on this radio uh, station. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> if you're if you're offended by that last joke, uh, tweet, tweet us, us at, at the, Retro, retro Rush Hour. <laughs> God, Tell I, us how offended you are. I feel like every time we say that, Abel is like, the <laughs> one who keeps tweeting me on yes. these things. <laughs> Literally, yes. our guests are tweeting me more than our and, listeners. And if you do want to say something to his face, there is a vine. Posted on uh, the uh, Twitter. You can account. find all of us on that yep. Vine video, so yeah. you know what we all look like now. Yeah. So now, go ahead, beat the crap out of them. A lot yes. of radio MCs are often unattractive. Yeah. But I, I am, I, however, not uh, yeah. unattractive. Yes. I am, in fact, very attractive. <laughs> so we have proof. surprise you, you might want to be not wearing pants when it happens. Yes. Yeah, good. True. True yes. story. I'm not wearing pants right now. Nope. <laughs> in fact, we're all naked in here right now. <laughs> Yep. Stop uh, by if you want to see those pictures. <laughs> tweet us at Retro Rush, Rush Hour. <laughs> <laughs> First one to tweet us gets a pick. <laughs> or you get to be brought in live studio audience. <laughs> gets we have a, a pick couch from below the table. <laughs> we get a we we have a couch in here. What is this? Yeah, you, what? Um, what are you trying to say? What's his face? What are you trying to say? What? Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Bob Bowie. Bowie. Bob Bowie. 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 I can't say the rest of that. Yeah, you can say Howard Stern's. The penis. doctor from Scrubs uh, that yeah. always makes you take off your pants. As because you need yeah. to see if you have a cold. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it might be strep throat. Go, uh, go into the room and take, take off your pants. pants. Alex, number one. Number, number one. Number one. Sing by the Carpenters. Oh. Ah. That's so good. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't think of that. Yep. Good. And yep. I'm good. so mad I'm for missing this. that opportunity. I was originally going to do be. I was originally going to do Close to You by the Carpenters. I'm yeah. like, no, there's a better <laughs> Carpenter song. Sing and it was Sing. <laughs> Oh, this song! <laughs> Didn't they sing this on Sesame Street or something? They no may idea. have, but it wasn't originally for it. No, well, no, originally but, but Metal Gear Solid, right? maybe it was for Metal Gear Solid. Sing, sing a song, sing out loud. Sing out strong. All right, we're done with that. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. Good. Good. This this has been a very musical retro rush. Out. It has been. I have to say, it. for for a radio, <laughs> for a show that like supposed to be playing music, we've been singing quite a lot. It's good. I'm glad. Okay. Makes it I all the better. Something new. <laughs> yeah. We <okay. laughs> something all to do. We're entertaining this time. Yeah. Abel, number one, go. Well, I thought I'd try to think. What's the one thing I don't want to hear ever again? Nickelback. Yeah. And then. <laughs> 
Dark and then I couldn't think of it dark because horse. it was so bad. Is it Dark Horse? Is Dark Horse? Is it Pompeii? <laughs> <laughs> is it any of the things we mentioned already? Is yeah. it a callback to last week? Is it uh, is it hashtag <laughs> selfie? <laughs> oh. might, as no, well be. might as well be. No, no, no. I'm going to have to go with that song in Kazam that Shaq sings. Oh, oh yeah. I'm queuing it up. No. <laughs> Just so we can, we can give our... our you happy I'm also going to throw my hat in for Kazam. that to be the obscure song of the day. Okay, it will be. I don't even know if that it, has we're gonna, a movie. We're going to play it. I don't even know if that song you has a title. You guys have very weird perceptions of how Armageddon would go down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's green egg and ham it. Let's green egg and ham it. Here we go. This is Shaquille O'Neal. This was originally scripted for Eight Mile, and they held off. I don't know why. <laughs> don't say I didn't warn you, boys. I'm gonna skip to the part. Oh no, man. here he is. No way, man. This is cool. Rocky, Bullwinkle, Wait a second. Shall this we? Is on, I'm gonna Rocky. skip to the. That's fine. Planet. Don't just stay. Come on. That's fine. That way they can get it here. They really don't like you. The question is, what are you gonna do? Because my name's Sam. Again. Wait. For my tete a tete tete. Ha ha, you see what I got, so let me see what you could get. The things I see would make you sweat. Kings and fool, they're all fish in my neck. Cause I am Kazam. Ooh, man. I'm more than I seem, you all are looking at your dream. In your coffee, I'm the queen. <laughs> One wish I get it true. Sparks and fire <laughs> from a boombox. Well, you see, the premise was he was a genie and he was locked in the boombox. Mr. Malik. And then this small white child. <laughs> I'm gonna. You see? You see? It's Ranji from How I Met Your Mother. Let's green egg and ham it. Let's green egg, egg and ham it. The classic line. Well, let's on that note, let's that green egg and ham it. If you have to say something about green egg and hamming it, tweet us at, at Retro Rush Hour. <laughs> Selfless production. Yes, please tweet us. We need this. <laughs> Can't you see we're begging? Your tweets give us life. Can't you see at this point we're already begging? <laughs> Please. Marcel, number one, go. Okay, I'm so glad I get to introduce my favorite band of all time. Is and it Nickelback? It's not Nickelback. <laughs> R.E.M. It's, it's, it's not R.E.M. Thank you. Is Nobody it? picked the cliched one. Is it REO Speedwagon? It's the of the world no. as we know oh. it. No one would play that during Armageddon. Good, thank uh, you. It's <laughs> For Whom the Bell Tolls by Metallica. Oh, Ooh, all right. Good. That beginning sends shivers down people's spines. Yeah. I'm going to... I'm gonna play it because I feel bad because I'm not playing any of yours and I'm playing. That's fair enough. Well, okay. I keep picking right, things. We don't, we don't care about Marcel. <laughs> that we don't know. That's because I'm picking things that you people apparently never heard of. <laughs> well, like 99 Red Balloons. I, we know that song. I just didn't know what it was called. <laughs> this is or Metallica. Who it was by? Yeah. Da na na na. 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 Da na na Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Sucks. Tweet us if you hate our commentary at Retro Rush. <laughs> that is a good one. I dig it. I'd play more of it, but. Well, we got a radio show to do. Uh, we got a radio show to do. <laughs> okay, Ryan. What's, what's your My number, number one. one. Okay, you ready for this? Rainbow in the Dark. Ooh. Oh, you? Oh, I'm leaving. Yeah. Goodbye. Bum, 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 bum. Do your demons! <laughs> Do they ever bring you down? It's a callback to last week. I. It took a well week to get that song out of my head after the first time. I heard it on the radio today and I was I'm like, sorry. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's no sign of the morning coming. R.I.P. John. Uh, yeah, yeah, what's his name? Dio? Ronnie James Dio. Yes. Nope, just Dio. No, yeah, Ronnie, just first, James, second, yeah. and last name. Dio. Do you know there was an old South Park where they were like, "Hey, it's Dio." Like he played at like their school dance or something. <laughs> yeah. I was because I was because they've been marathoning South Park or something like during the days like recently. When and, like, I say fuck, they actually. Lightning? 
lightning. lightning. Yeah. Do lightning. you see thunder? I don't know. It's Dio. <laughs> he can do whatever he wants. He can do whatever he wants. Why is he showing me a picture of a toilet? But yeah, that's no, there's couch the couch in the bathroom. <laughs> there's a couch. And the handicap stall. Oh my god. If you want this picture, tweet, tweet us. us at the <laughs> rush, rush, rush hour. Rush hour. <laughs> oh my god. How, Would you like to hear more jokes? Please pay five dollars to your local internet provider and tweet us at, <laughs> yeah. at Retro Rush Hour. So we're gonna play our our final two songs on this playlist. We're gonna collaborate. We'll probably have and one listen. more song. So we're gonna collaborate while you listen. We're gonna figure out our last song. We're gonna play our last two songs. It's gonna start out. With uh, Purple Rain by Prince. Good song, actually. Weird Dude, good song. Easy Radio, Voice of Baron. Rock and roll. Oh, when you close Stop. your eyes. Wow, wow. The Wild Wild West. <laughs> yes. And that was the second Such time I fisted Hillary Clinton. Oh! You're listening to BBZ <laughs> Radio. That was good. That was that's that's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. I like I liked the first time a lot better than the second time though. <laughs> good story. If you would like to hear those stories, tweet us at the right <laughs> <laughs> We are out you of see, time. But you see a are, lot of things happen in the commercial breaks that we're willing to share with you. I know. Only people. And if you would just tweet us, but none of you are real. So, <laughs> yes. you know. I don't so want to associate myself with I can get away with saying that because no one heard it. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, uh, we were going to read all the best tweets. We were going to rank them. But we didn't get any. We didn't get any. <laughs> so next time. Next time. If there are tweets. I mean, like, Look I saw the lab. one from the penis one. <laughs> From like Three a month ago. Later, so, Penis I mean, McGregor. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll read them later. Anyway, we just picked our obscure song of the day. Uh, there's a little known movie that Weird Al Yankovic, Yankovic starred in called UHF. Me and Abel actually watched it. Did you watch it with us, Alex? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, UHF. It's like a type of sketch type. Did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, it's like a sketch naked gun type humor-esque. Fran yes. Drescher's in it. Fran Drescher is Hello. in it. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she's in it. And, I'm the um, secretary. Yeah. And it's it's pretty funny. It's pretty entertaining. Weird Al isn't really an actor, but, you know. It's still good. It does. Yeah. It's good. It, it, it it's gets good. its job across. It gets its job across. So we Kramer's found a song. in it. Kramer's in it. Yeah, Kramer is in it. Kramer I forgot about that. in it, and he's not Kramer. He's the janitor or whatever with the buck tooth. Yeah, exactly. I forgot about that. You wow. found the marble in the oatmeal. <laughs> yeah. That means you get the drink from the fire hose. <laughs> yeah. I forgot. That's such a good line. <laughs> oh, God. Watch that movie. If you want to know more, you should uh, watch <laughs> the movie. Or tweet us. Or tweet us <laughs> at RetroRushHour.com. No, it's not dot .com. Dot .com, dot .org. At, at, at RetroRushHour.gov. Just retro rush. <laughs> dot .gov. Yeah, dot .gov. Dot yes. gov. Dot That's gov. not how tweeting works. <laughs> Honey, I'm trying to tweet at Retro Rush Hour, and the dot .gov isn't going through. <laughs> Uh, that's my George impression of even old try to do it even better. They got thighs on There's a big old dinosaur in the living room. <laughs> I'm just trying to... You're a tree fitty, woman. I'm just trying to eat my eggs, woman. I don't know what you're talking about, the retro rush hour. <laughs> George, George, help me make the computer work. Woman, I'm just trying to get something done over here. George! <laughs> Abel is not African American, so uh, I am not. <laughs> You're going he to get Philadelphian, though. I am, yeah, I am Philadelphian. Right, so that counts. Uh, you would know what we all look like if you uh, watched our Vine video on, yeah, and if you on our Twitter page, <laughs> RushHour.com. Carl. Carl. <laughs> so. That kills people, Carl. More inside jokes. Anyway. Watch Film Cow. His videos are awful, but hilarious. Yes. So unfortunately, we have to we depart have for the day. Time, but we're gonna, we're going to leave you with oh, Weird Al Yankovic, UHF. Mm -hmm. But uh, just remains me to thank again Abel, Alex, and Marcel for coming on. Thank Ab you guys yep. so much. Absolutely, always yes. Absolutely. a pleasure. Yes, come follow. Uh, yeah, follow me. Follow me. Keep up with me after this semester I ends. I if Jeff because is Because we're probably going to... Jeff might be I think listening. Jeff Knapp is listening. We told him to. We did tell Does him he to. Have a, if he has a Twitter, then shame on him. Yeah, shame if on you him. Are him. Why he if you are listening, though... If you are listening, though, shout out. This is, Yeah, this will be... Yeah, so shout out to Jeff Knapp if you're listening. 
and uh, this will be probably one of my last shows. One, really? I think I got two more left because <clears throat> there's only two couple weeks left in the semester. So yeah, I mean, keep keep up with us. We'll try and try and uh, let you know where we're at because we're gonna get a show started. We're gonna be moving point. this uh, the this podcast house. idea. Yeah, that well, would be nice. <laughs> so we're gonna move this. We're gonna move this semi syndicated thing over to the internet. Yes. So to keep up with what's actually gonna happen, honestly, yes, go to the Twitter. Do yeah. you have a Facebook page? Go to the Facebook page as well. Yes. And we'll let you know. The name will probably be changing somewhere along the line. Probably. But the idea is going to be the same. Well, it'll still be us. So it'll still be us doing things. Might even be places, back next sweary. semester. I don't know. Yeah, who Just knows? To get time experience. It might involve a bunch of really? white guys and sweaters and places they yes. don't belong. Yes. Well, oh you know, God. if you guys... Well, believe you know, it or not, that may captured. be happening yeah, sooner than later. I mean, come on. What? I want to do that. It would be fine if someone had a camera. Marcel. Marcel. <laughs> yeah. Really? We're looking at someone who lost their camera in the boondoggles. You lost it? I currently cannot locate it. Are you it. serious? <laughs> Follow All me right, on Twitter. Anyways. At Retro Rush Hour, which we already hoard out enough, I think. Check ah. out my playlist at, at... No, it's not at anything. It's <laughs> groovesharkcom slash Retro Rush Hour. Just very used to saying at Retro Rush Hour. So tweet me. At <clears throat> Retro Rush Hour. Do it. Check out the playlist, GrooveShark.com slash RetroRower. Get a sneak peek at next week's playlist. We got a special guest. It's going to be fun. Um, but now, for now, we're going to leave you with Weird Al Yankovic. God. Ugh. Weird, Weird Al Yankovic. Yankovic. UHF. BBC Radio. Uh, the Voice of Baron. Thanks for listening.